The Last Reader by Oliver Wendell Holmes I sometimes sit beneath a tree and read my own sweet songs, for naughty they may to others be, each humble line prolongs, a town that might have passed away, but for that scarce remembered lay. I keep them like a lock or leaf that some dear girl has given, frail record of an hour, as brief as sunset clouds in heaven, with spreading purple twilight still, high our memories shadowed hill. Bly upon my path, I bleak, as flowers that once ran wild, as on the father's careworn cheek, the ringless of his child. The golden mingling with the grey and stealing half that snows away, a care for the dust is spread around these yellow leaves, or are the mesocastic trade oblivion's insect weaves. The weeds are tangled in the stream, it still reflects my morning's beam, and therefore love has such a smile on these neglected songs, nor deem them fell trees needless while my opening bosom wrongs. For who would trample at my side, a few pale buds my gardening's pride? It may be that my scanty o'er long years have washed away, and where my golden sands before is naught but come clay, still sometimes sparkles in the sun for memory to look back upon. When my name no more is heard, my lion no more is known, still lit me like a winter's bird in silence and alone, for it overwhelmed the very ring once flashing through the dews of spring. Yes, let my fancy fondly rip, my youth in its decline, and riot in the rosy lap of thoughts at once for mine, and give the warm more little store, and the last reader reads no more.